PTC Creoparametric 3.0, Lesson 10, Part 1. In this lesson, we're going to detail three of the components of the swing clamp. So start by opening up your clamp assembly and make sure your tree filters are set so that everything is displaying in the model tree. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start off by detailing the clamp, the arm, I'm, and what we want to do is we don't really need all of this up by opening it though it's all in session. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to click on <clears throat> close and new and it's a drawing and it's the clamp. I'm just going to give it a short name. I'm going to use the default template. By doing that, it'll automatically give a, I'm going to use the C size drawing. And I got to be careful here because I had this assembly, this assembly was in session. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to browse and I'm going to go to the clamp arm. I'm going to pick the design. I can pick just the clamp arm, <clears throat> but I think it would be better for us to stick with the clamp arm design when we do this. Open. Now, because since Creo, in Pro Engineer, if you bring up an old model, you're not going to have the views given to you. But with Creo, we have defined front, top, and right views in the model itself. And you can look at the model tree down here. By doing that, the template for the drawing will automatically display these views. If your model does not have those standard views, then you cannot, it will not automatically display them. You'll have to create the views, which is not that difficult to do. I'm going to open up the arm here and show you that we have, obviously, all these views available. Um, I actually, I think Pro Engineer 5.0 had this also, but previous to that, you had to create your own views usually. So if you bring up an old model, if you're working with uh, data from from uh, legacy data at your company, then you're going to sometimes find out that if you're going to detail something, it will not automatically have those views for you. So here we have our three views. <clears throat> And when we look at them, a lot of the dimensions have already shown up because they were displayed on the model <clears throat> when we show the annotations. So some of these are automatically going to be there. The first thing you want to do always is shut off all these datum features. And I'm just going to roll my model with my little mouse button, zoom in and out, and it'll repaint it. So those, these items here are not part of the model. If you have a set datum, like for instance here we have A, that's going to show up in the model. That's a feature of the part. Otherwise, it's not, you do not want any of these elements on here. So again, we've already got quite a few of the dimensions, if not most of them, shown. Uh, this side view here, it's really not necessary. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to have you notice that we are in the layout tab here in your ribbon. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock the view movement and go back over here. and. Basically, I just want to delete this. I could just right mouse button and delete it. You don't want to erase it, just delete it. So we don't really need that view. Uh, the other, next thing is, we again, we're still in the layout. And there's a couple of things we can do here. We can go to Sheet Setup, or we can click on the little note down here that says size, the tag size C. And it'll do the exact same thing. No, it's supposed to. Hmm. It's not giving me that. I'm going to click on it and see what's going on. That's funny. Previously, all you had to do is click on it. And now it's saying that you have to use right mouse button. Interesting. I didn't know that. So it seems like an extra bit of work. You know, of course, you could have just done it here, sheet setup. It's the exact same thing. And we're going to go into the C size. So we're browsing, C size, leave everything OK, show the format OK. Oh, didn't do it for me. Ah. Better. I'm going to show the preview of it also. C. 
open. Okay, and there's my format. And the format has a file associated with it that controls the lines, the positions, the the um, the zone lettering, etc. For just the sheet, the drawing, which is not the sheet, but the drawing has the views and the dimensions and notes on it. So they're two separate items. We'll get to that a little bit more later. So if you click on any of the views, you can move them around, make them go where you want them to go. And as I recall on this, uh, in this lesson, I want to put a pictorial view out here. Now, normally you don't put anything between the title block and the top of the, uh, the bottom of the ECO area. But in this case, we will put in a general view. Right mouse button. So right mouse button and general view. OK. Click where you want the view to go. And if you want to change this to isometric, you can do that at this time. That's a little bit better. And you can move it out of the way. All right. So we have our two views there. And these are really a lot of the good dimensions that we're going to be needing. But if you look at this, you've got a 175 dimension here that goes from air to air. It doesn't go from the surface to surface because it's been trimmed down. So there's dimensions that are missing here. Again, you can look. This is a good dimension. This dimension is useless. It goes from outside here to the outside of the other surface. So some of these dimensions are good. Some of them are not. Let's go over and click on the annotate tab. Click on show model annotations. You can get that from the right mouse button. And we're going to click on the top view because that has the most important things. And then we'll click on the front view and see if there's anything else that's going to show up. I held on to my control. I can do it this way instead. Let's click on the front view first and then hold down the control key and click on the top. This spreads the dimensions out a little bit and we don't have to move as many. Otherwise, we would have to move these diameter dimensions. And in fact, it looks like we're still going to have to move some of them back to the top. But the main thing here is, what do you really want to keep? Now, there's not that many dimensions, but if there were hundreds of them, you'd have obviously, obviously want to edit them a little more carefully. But some of these, let's see, for instance, these in here, these 82, whatever, we can click in here and see whether or not we can find them. You can see, OK, like this one right here. We don't really want that dimension. How about this dimension here? 80, no. So let's not put in these two dimensions. So these two we'll uncheck. And let's see the other one. So as you put your cursor over the top, they should highlight the dimension for you. So let's see this one. That five dimension, that's a good dimension. we got a dimension in here. It's a little hard to see. And again, it's not going to hurt to have these on because we're going to have to go and re delete some of them anyway. But you can see, you can check on the ones that you want or don't want. For instance, that one there. Do you really want that one? No. So again, let's do it this way. Instead of deleting them, we'll leave these bottom two off. Let's just turn all of them on and then edit it from the screen. While we're here, let's go to the datum tab. And this shows the axes. And again, we can be more careful by just picking certain ones. Or we can, in this case, select them all. So these are the axes. This is not center lines. Or they, are you, they actually they should be called center lines. They're called axes, but they're not the axes you'd use when you're doing construction in the part mode. This is going down the middle of all the round elements, not radial, but round. Uh, as far as notes go, it looks like we have one note, so we want to turn that on, and then quit the menu. So let's just go a little bit. Let's start off in the front view here. You've got quite a few things. Let's take this dimension here and move it for now. I don't know if we want that dimension or not, but we're going to just move it. You can go to any side you want. Oops. And you can also flip the arrows, make it correct. This dimension here actually should maybe go to the top view. You can leave it here, but let's say you want to move it to the top view. Click here, and there's our dimension in the top. And again, you can move it around. So it looks a little bit better. Now, now that we're looking at the top view, let's look seriously at some of the dimensions. This dimension here doesn't exist because it's been trimmed back. So we can get rid of that dimension. 
and some of these we can just move for right now so that they're away from this is a very good dimension here that goes to the datum plane if you recall that we put in there to cut to and this dimension here good dimension but it's really on the wrong side i think so let's take that dimension and move it over on to over here and while we're here let's look at we got this big dimension here i can hold down the control key too by the way if i want to get rid of another how about getting rid of this dimension that's the dimension so this one and this one right mouse button and delete you can redisplay these if you accidentally take out the wrong one and let's delete this one i'll just hit the delete key this dimension here is one that we want to use i'm going to stick it in here maybe move this one over also and this one i'm going to drag out for the for the web portion and this dimension here is not needed so again hit my delete key and that's pretty much all i need in the top view now one thing you want to look at is how the dimensions are extending so the extension lines here for instance this one it's coming all the way from this end so we really want to drag it back and we also might want to move our datum feature there this is a ugly dimension you probably want to have to change that at some point we're not going to do all the dimensions here we're just going to do some of them let's flip the arrows let's just make it look in general better than it does you can actually take this and you could put it over here maybe it'll look a little bit better and again dragging some of these back so that they look better seems cumbersome to do seems like at this point uh, cad system should do this automatically but doesn't always work that way all right, so those are the dimensions for the top view. Hold down my shift key and my middle mouse button to pan the drawing. Take a look at the front view here. Move that. And we've got a lot of dimensions in here, so let's take a look at these. Most of these dimensions have to do with this note. But they're, they're the physical feature dimensions, not the node itself. So if we take a good look at some of this, it's probably true that most of these, if not every one of them, is not needed. So, got a lot of stuff there. You'd really have to come up here and, and put in a chamfer dimension, maybe, display it. But for our purposes here, everything is really taken care of by this note. So all of these dimensions are unneeded so hold down your control key pick them all and oh, i get the wrong one. and delete those so it's much cleaner um, this dimension here we can move move it over here and if we click on it right mouse button what are their choices so edit value and you can see you've got this big giant note and most of the stuff on this note is not only unnecessary but is offensive to the machinists because you're not going to tell them all this information um, pattern no pattern let's get rid of that um, let's get some of these on another um, thread thread depth I think let's click on here, hit enter, get rid of uh, thread depth, size drill. You tell a size drill to a machinist, they'll laugh at you. They already know how to do their job. You're doing your job. You're telling them you want a UNC-2. So in reality, I would say we can take this all out. And let's see what we've got here. Thread class, whole type, variable thread. Let's take that out and click OK. Now, almost OK, but you don't use the word tap either. 
So, added value, standard hold type, we'll take that out. And believe it or not, if you take out these, these spaces, the dimension, the uh, note will look better. All right, so that's in there. Now, there's a lot of other things that we could do here to make it correct. Um, not really thrilled with the way this is looking where it's pointing. The only thing I have noticed is that, uh, let's move this and change it, is that we can change the position here of this annotation. But when we do, it tends to give us a note that says uh, uh, it, it might be a problem as far as it being associative anymore or parametric. So I'm going to leave it where it is for now. Um, let's see what we can do here. It's going to be add leader. No, let's, let's just leave it. So this will be our first one. Get a little bit of a chance to go into the dimensioning and display in a drawing. It's obviously not perfect. Uh, lots of stuff I'd still do to it. But um, right now, I think that's good enough for the first drawing. This is the end of part one.